Every day at the state house as a last minute amendment was made to a house bill having to do with paying college athletes. Well, this amendment would prevent transgender athletes from competing in female high school and college sports too. Olivia Eugenio was at the state house today and tonight at 11 she has a full breakdown of what passed. Mr. Speaker, I move to amend with amendment 1594. Object. The fireworks started when Representative Jenna Powell proposed an amendment having to do with transgender athletes. Female athletes are currently losing scholarships, opportunities, medals, education, and training opportunities. This amendment will require schools that are part of the OHSAA to de designate separate teams. The amendment keeps transgender athletes from competing in female sports in both high school and college. This amendment is pro-women. It is not anti-LGBTQ. Shameful day in this, uh, this body today. Uh, this is one of the most extreme political attacks on transgender people in the nation. The amendment passed. 54 affirmative votes, 40 negative votes. As did the bill in its entirety, which initially just centered around student athletes being paid for their name, image, and likeness. So how many student athletes will this affect? Back in May, the Ohio High School Athletic Association said since 2015, there have been 11 transgender female students who have been approved to play. The association has a several page policy outlining rules for trans youth. Siobhan Boyd Nelson works for Equality Ohio, which advocates for LGBTQ youth. This is an issue that gets people's emotions going and that also can um, instigate some fear in folks because we don't know who trans youth are. The state senator who initially sponsored this bill without the amendment has decided to add the name, image, and likeness portion to another bill that will be discussed tomorrow. At the State House, Olivia Eugenio, 10 TV News. We reached out to OSU for their thoughts on the House bill and the new amendment, and they said, quote, Ohio State supports a clean name, image, and likeness bill, like the bill passed by the Ohio Senate, which will support all student athletes across Ohio. Tonight, Gehanna held a pride parade, and it kicked off shortly after the news of House Bill 29. Participants marched a half mile from Friendship Park to City Hall in Gehanna to support the LGBTQ plus community. They originally came out just to celebrate pride, but once news of the amendment spread, that's what people were talking about, and there were mixed reviews on the outcome. Males have too much hormones in them, no, mu no matter how you put um, estrogen in it estrogen in you or whatever, you're still going to be um, overqualified to be in a woman's sport, I think. You're just, it's just not fair to the women. Absolutely ridiculous. You should be able to participate in sports regardless of your gender identity. Well, there was a good turnout for tonight's event, which was organized by Gahanna resident Katie Bennett.